Hey guys, if you like my content, please click on that thumbs up button and give this video a like so I know to make more videos like this. And if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Hunter channel. My name is Hunter and this is September 2017 update to my LEGO city. If you're new to my channel, I have moved my LEGO city from downstairs to upstairs. So please excuse all the mess you're going to see, all the missing rope plates and missing lampposts and trees and stuff like that because uh, this is pretty much a whole new beginning for my city. And so uh, as I do more updates, I'll go ahead and clean that up. I do still have like several more bins um, and those aren't even all of it. There's more bins of LEGO that belongs in my city that I haven't put in my city yet. And so. Uh, there's still more to add to my city, although I'm kind of running out of space at this point. There's several things that uh, didn't make it in or will not be making it into my LEGO city, which is the, the final duel like theater scene with uh, the uh, seats and everything. So that's out of there. And a couple other things. Also additions to my LEGO city. Let me point those out real quickly. Alright, and a new addition to my LEGO city is the haunted house. I actually brick linked that. So basically I don't have the minifigures and I don't have the original box, but other than that it should be pretty much just like the official set. Did add some uh, CMF monster minifigures there. On my next update, I'll probably show you more details of all the things that's going on in my city. I still have a, the Avenger Tower that I do need to add to my city and I haven't found a place for that, so some buildings are getting moved around. And some of the layouts of the buildings I do really uh, like at this point, which is the, uh, let me point out the assembly square, I just split those up. If you wanna know how I did that, go ahead and check out uh, my assembly square video. It should be under a playlist for mocks, and you could see how I did that, but I just split those up. Even though I really do like the official build, how it's laid out, um, I just thought I'd try something different and split those buildings up, and I put it in front of the palace cinema, and I kinda like how that looks. That little water fountain, it almost looks like um, it kind of shares the middle little square area there in front of the theater. So um, yeah, I'm happy with that uh, for now. If you see like the overview of the city, a lot of the things just kind of looks very similar. And, and that's because I wanted to keep certain uh, aspect of my city as it was because I was really happy with it. Um, no point of changing just for the sake of changing. If I like it, if I like how that looks. I'll, I'll go ahead and try to keep that. So, um, so that's why you see you still see the castle in the front. You see the the Ferris wheel on the right, and then you see all the street um, of buildings on the left there. I am still planning to pin the beach front in front of the water, and as you can see, uh, I did find a place for my water. It almost, almost looks exactly the same, although I'm raising up an underwater sand area there towards the the center back. Um, Again, a lot of fishes are just laying on the sand on the sea floor there. A lot of things I still got to work on. And uh, yeah, the bridge is definitely making it into my LEGO city. I'm going to find a way. I already uh, kind of planned for it. And back of the Ferris wheel, you could even see that I did raise up some of the tracks. So same thing, the, the, the train is, um, or the tram is going around the entire city just like before. Uh, no really changes there. And uh, as far as how many tables or the size of my city uh, from downstairs, it's pretty much almost the same. I had three tables down there, I have three tables up here. Uh, the major difference I would say is that now I have on the sides a place for me to walk and be able to have access to uh, pretty much almost the entire city. Yeah, the castle in the middle is kind of hard to reach over and stuff like that, but uh, for the most part I don't need to touch the middle of the city too much and uh, back of the speaking of the castle back of the castle I did put in the new carousel just like how they have it in Disneyland I don't know about Disney World I haven't been there yet but in um, California Anaheim Disneyland there is the Disney castle and then behind that there's the uh, the carousel so that's what I did and I kind of I think it kind of works out with the uh, the Parisian restaurant right there I think it looks okay there so yeah, there it is. Let me just go ahead and roll in some pictures. This is going to be a short video. just wanted to give you guys a view of what my city looks like since I moved the LEGO city upstairs. And I'd like to welcome three new sick figs to my LEGO city, going left to right. It is Aussie Brick Chick, Down Under Bricks, 
and chicks bricks. And I didn't even stage this, but in the back on the left there, looks like Adrian Brickett is photobombing them right now. <laughs> and there's down under bricks. Don't jump down under bricks. I know the UCS Falcon is $800, probably more in Australia, but uh, no need to jump off the ledge there. Oh, wait, wait, never mind. I think he just wants to show off his business card. <laughs> Alright, guys, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out this city update. Appreciate you watching. This is Brick Country signing out, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye!